Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys, and today I think I have something exotic. This is from Wilson and Morgan, an Italian independent whiskey um, distributor, a 42-year-old Ingvervolt Gordon. Distilled 1973, bottled 2016. This is part of the Wilson and Gordon Barrel Select Collector's Edition. About 280 euros, so 320, 300 and some euros or dollars over there. This was actually a refilled bourbon cask they used, and I love the name of the cask. Cask number one three zero 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 four two. So 13, seven zeros, and then four two. And um, a total of 221 bottles were actually produced. And this was a gift from Tobias, which is a, um, uh, let's just call him independent agent of Wilson and Gordon in Germany. Now, uh, whiskey base number 88276. The distillery... And Inver Gordon is not that old. It was actually started in 1959. And it was basically and only used to make grain whiskey. Now, it's very, very interesting how many different... Um, what they actually do there is they produce with four coffee stills, 36 million liters of grain whiskey a year. Wow. <laughs> it is the largest grain distillery in the Highlands. It's the only grain distillery in the Highlands. And it's one of the biggest distilleries in the world, uh, in, uh, in, at least in um, Great Britain and in Scotland. All right, so um, let's take a look. My nose says... <sighs> Very nice. I don't know about you, but I enjoy a good grain. I seldom do I have the chance to try a 42-year-old grain. Uh, grains are buttery. Grains are soft. Grains are very smooth. There's a lot of a vanilla. There's a lot of... Um, <laughs> exactly, I have a connection in my brain, which I've never had before. Um, but it's actually somewhat true. If you take the um, um, Dickel, George Dickel... That's buttery popcorn, and just age it for another 20-some years. <laughs> You're basically getting what we got here. And that's what it, uh, that's that smoothness, and it's the oiliness, and it's just a very, very, just a, a, a wonderful moment. 280 euros is a lot for this, but it's an edition, collector's edition. Very, very nice. Very, very smooth. Um, I think I mentioned this a few times before in my other videos. Grain whiskeys can tend not to be so complex. There's basically three or four little like, music. There's just tones and it's just a harmony there and it's just wonderful. Everything's there together. Um, going back to the age. A refilled bourbon cask means... It was used in the States for four years, probably. Straight, Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, four years minimum. Under four years, you need to put the month and the date on it. Then it was used once in Scotland. That's why it's not a first fill bourbon. It was a refill bourbon. So basically 10 to 12 years, it was something else was in there. And then another 42 years here for this spirit. So 42 plus 12 plus another four. Four, we're running around somewhere 58 years ago. This barrel was produced. Oh, wait, I forgot something. Normally, the wood of a barrel is dry um, outside for another two years. So we're talking 60 years old oak that was used here. The oak was cut down 60 years ago. Wow, that is amazing. 50s. Ha <laughs> ha, I just love this. This is fantastic. Giving it time to develop in my glass. Very, very nice, but I do get that buttery. I'm going to go for popcorn, actually. 
It's got a little bit of a grapefruit in there and it has a little bit of the pinion um, nuts in there as well. Very good. Let's try it. Hmm. Mm. Cast strength, 43%. The angels have taken all that that was once there. Mm. Nice. Very, very, very nice. Now, my problem is, it's not, wow. It's a B. I'm gonna, I, in my English, my German video, I think I gave it a B minus. B. Um, it's nothing to write home about. It's like, wow, I tried a 42-year-old grain single grain whiskey and it was a fabulous. I'm sorry. I tried a 42-year-old Ing, uh, Ingvar Gordon. It was very nice. Nice. But it doesn't really push all the red buttons. It doesn't, it's not really my wheelhouse 100%. Um, I have over here a little sample of, um, uh, Carsa Bridge. 34 years old that was actually um, finished also in a refill sherry hogshead um, cast strength 48.8 percent beautiful beautiful mmm just fantastic very very nice so I'm going to give this a D minus for the value for money it's just not worth it in my case if you want a collector's items if you want something that was actually produced in the year you were born 1972 1973 i'm sorry um it's difficult to get a normal scotch whiskey at a price that's anywhere near this so if you're looking for your birthday whiskey um 1973 this actually might be a very good value for money otherwise i'm not going to recommend it um it's nice to try but it's not really something that i'm gonna go wow um three drops of water does it open up a tiny little bit yes but the water doesn't really do much to it after those 42 years in the in the cask mm. it just basically stays the same not much change at all it gets a little bit watery but it, the the the, the, uh, the intensity of the um of that buttery and that popcornness is still the same. All right, so whiskey, Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Single cast, two hundred twenty-one bottles, forty-two-year-old single grain whiskey from Ingve, Ingve Gordon, nineteen seventy-three, bottled in two thousand sixteen. Amazing stuff. All right, so the the, the amazing day, um, facts. The, the spirit itself was all right. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please tell others about this interesting guy over here in Europe tasting stuff you'll probably never ever see, let alone have the opportunity to taste, but that's one of the things I get to do here. And I wish you all the best Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. You'll see new videos coming out. Bye-bye.